people. On this particular video, I bring to your monkey fucking ass, as usual. <laughs> Which I've explained that on prior videos. Just go watch some of the other ones and you'll figure it out. But anyway, so we're going to we're gonna just hit on a few notes here on, uh, you know, there's, you got to admit this. There's a lot of fucking problems going on nowadays. It's 2021. You don't understand that? There's like fucking all sorts of issues going on. I mean, we've discussed a few things maybe on this channel. I mean, just go take a look around though. Whatever. You know, unless you've been living under a damn rock, that there's some problems. And then we have one big problem that mainstream media proposes, amongst many that they propose, because they they're just nothing but a nest of issues, the mainstream media and news. That involves the news, too, because they fear monger. Just like a lot of you fucking YouTube channels out there like the fear monger people. I don't respect that. So anyway, what I'm saying, infidelity, you know, cheating. You know, all this bullshit, having an affair, all this crap. That's bullshit. Damn it. Sorry about that. So we got wife swap, okay? Here's how they did this. They started off a long time ago. They just trickled it in there, okay? What they just did is they trickled it in there little bit by little bit. Started off with like, you know, a little Reba, you know, let's say wife swap, right? You remember that fucking show, wife swap, right? You know, they just swap it out, you know? Oh, there's nothing going on. You know, they're, they're not fucking that other fucking motherfucker. They ain't doing that, are they? Bullshit. When a goddamn camera's off, that's what you know they're doing. And they're fucking hitting some damn goddamn fucking shit. You know that? I'm sure you know that if you're fucking human. So anyway, and then you got Reba. Always around that ex-husband of hers. You know what I'm saying? Making out like it was just cool to, you know, ditch your husband... Go be with another motherfucker and then yet still be around your fucking husband. I mean, what type of twisted shit's that? And we're just on the lightweight here. This is how they started it out. with fucking this lightweight shit. And well, you know, two and a half men. There's another one. Where you got two dudes and it's the half man is that other nerdy fucker. So they make out like Charlie Sheen's the whole man because he's going around fucking a bunch of bitches all the time. That's all he does. I mean, might as well be fucking two and a half men... With STDs. I mean, come on, man. So, and that was, there's more shows, I'm sure, that I'm missing out on. We're talking about older shows where they had that lightweight shit where they're just putting it in there. Little bit by little bit, they're just putting that lightweight shit in there. They're getting you fucking, they're getting you loosened up, softened up, you know, for something bigger to fucking come. You know, they I thought once you accept this shit, you're going to go fucking accept something even worse. Okay? And that's how they... That's how they done it. Okay, so then we had something heavier here, right? So we, you know, this is Bachelor and Bachelorette, you know? I mean, how many people can you fuck in one short amount of fucking time, motherfucker? Okay? Sick shit. That might as well be called STDs, STDs right there, the fucking show. Okay? I mean, God damn it, man. What, what else we got? Good wives. Okay? Good wives. That's not nothing good about that. Might as well be called fucking cheating ass fucking whores, okay? It's it's whores. That's the name of that show. The Good Wives or the Bad Wives. I mean, come on, people. You gonna call something good? And they twisted you up like that too. The Good Wives, so it gets in there subconsciously. It's good, right? It's good. Look what they're doing. Look at what they're doing on this fucking show. It's got to be good because it's called Good Wives, right? Bullshit. So then we got goddamn sister wives, where this motherfucker thinks he's got to have all these goddamn women and shit. Like, one piece of pussy ain't enough. He's just got to have a whole room full of it. And they make that sound good right there. Sounds like somebody my fucking wife worked with. Her, her goddamn boss, man. That's what that sounds like. This fucking fucker off goddamn sister wives. Another example of bullshit. Now, once again, so we had Lightweight with Reba. Okay? Two and a half men. You know what I'm saying? And what else? Goddamn wife swap. All about fucking through God. And then so they... That's where they loosened you up. And then they had the heavy shit, right? Bachelor, bachelorette. Sister fucking wives. The good fucking wives. Like just a bunch of fucked up wives. You know? Fucking you over. Over and over and over again. Multiple dudes, man. Bullshit. And then we got uh, 90 Day Fiance. It's probably the newest... Bunch of bullshit on goddamn mainstream TV on the heavy end. Just, just clamping you down and making you deal with it. Bunch of bullshit. Cheating. 
fucking whores. So, right, and then we got, here's some random shit. The Teacher is a series off, I think, Hulu. Well, it was just about a teacher fucking her students. You know, there couldn't be nothing wrong with that, now could there? Right? You know, The Teacher. That's right. Teach you something, motherfucker. I'm sure they was. And then, so, there's the, another damn show, or a series. I think it was like a 2014 series. The Affair. I think that was a Showtime deal. But... The Affair. I mean, what could that be about? Oh, it's The Affair. Not a big deal, right? There's a show named it. It's just called The Affair. It doesn't say it's good or bad, so it must be neutral. Bullshit. You know, and then you got Big Little Lies. I mean, you know, it's just little, right? They're just little lies. Couldn't be nothing too big. Another load of fucking demoralizing motherfucking bullshit on TV. To fuck your fucking head up, motherfuckers, and all y'all fall for it. You're all fucking falling for it. That's all you do. And this brings us to a conclusion. An example of what this type of shit can do is, for instance, your wife wants to go fuck a goddamn boss man at her fucking work. Right? Ain't that true? Hmm? Named Wade Warren. Right? Wade Warren. Craftmaster Plant 4. And what's that goddamn number here? 828-582. 8650. Give that motherfucker a call for me, motherfucker. There will be another video on that shit. You better treat that part of this video fucking serious. You better treat everything I say fucking serious, because you never know. Is he picking or is he being serious? But hit rewind. Listen to that number again. Go give this motherfucker a call if he ain't already changed his goddamn number. Wade Warren. He's got a Facebook page too. It's called Wade Warren. Go do me a favor. I've done my fucking part, and I'm not through yet. But just help me out. Do your part. Anyway, that's just what happens to America nowadays, people. You get this bunch of bullshit on TV, fucks your fucking head up, little bit by little bit, starting with some bullshit, little, just trickle it in there, you know, get them softened up. And then you got something a little bit heavier coming down here. Before you know it, you just fucking, you just, I guess you either give in or you fucking get out of the damn, like, I don't watch no mainstream TV. I don't watch no news. I don't even watch no fucking weather. I don't get wrapped up with none of this shit that I have talked about or anything near a mainstream TV. I don't I don't deal with that shit. I'm fucking serious. Don't watch it. I'm telling you, I'm trying to do you a favor. Don't watch the goddamn shit. It'll fuck your head up. I've watched little bits and pieces of stuff. You can feel it trying to just creep in there and then you're just like, Fuck that. You know it's fucked up, so fuck that. It's bullshit. Then you watch how these women are out there and shit. Even some of these motherfucking dudes. You see how they are, too. Trying to pretend to be fucking Scotty or whatever this dude off fucking sister wives, thinking he's got to have all these goddamn women. Or worse. Some type of good wives goddamn bullshit. Where your wife's trying to be a fucking... Go out there and... Goddamn, you know, might as well just be fucking... Making money doing that, you know? Might as well, right? So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Don't watch any of these shows I just mentioned or anything like them, okay? Unless you want to turn into a cheating piece of shit, okay? I don't advise that. People don't look at that very well. And in the apocalypse situation, there's going to be some bad consequences when stuff like that happens. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next motherfucking video. Yeah. Where's that shotgun at?